bit right on the drop. It's a decent fish. Trying out a new rod. Caught this fish right next to the boat. He followed me all the way in. I got stuck on a rock. My jig came off and it brought his attention. And I just lifted my jig and he nailed it. Oh, well, he's a big one. Oh, it's a nice fish. Gorgeous fish. I just missed this fish right at the boat. I slowed down, gave it a couple twitches, and he hit it again. We've got a real slow bite today. You've got to really slow down. Oh, nice fish, look at that. A lot of boats on the water and the boat traffic is making these guys not want to hit. Nice fish. Oh yeah. It's a big walleye. A lot of time to bring it in, you're not getting bit. It's a beauty. I'll let him have that minnow, see it's sticking out of his mouth. This fish hit me twice. He missed. I could, he I could see my rod tip just vibrating as he barely hit my minnow. And he was following it and then finally I got him to commit. It's a pretty nice walleye.
Oh, he's a nice fish. The Very nice fish. The fish are hitting just on the bottom. I'm jigging real slow, and when I jig it up just a little bit, I'll feel weight, and I miss them, and almost every time, if I get right back into my rhythm, they'll hit it within five seconds. So once you can find a fish and you miss them, it's almost 100% re-strike on them. So. so it pays to be persistent. The bites are few and far between and work that fish. You can see that's a real nice female. Her belly is full. I'm getting some hogs today. These are the females coming up to spawn here. Let this one go. Oh, nice fish. Pretty fish. That is like a 26, 27 inch or long. Gorgeous fish. That is a long fish. Got a hit. This is about my 10th fish right here. And it is a white fish. This fish just picked it up off the bottom. When I jigged forward, I just had weight on there. And um, knew it was a fish. And I caught him pretty far out on my cast. Oh, it's a nice one. <laughs> Let him go. This 
so this fish I have on I had it on for a three seconds it got off I shook the rod and it came back and hit it again <laughs> I found an aggressive fish it's been about 45 minutes since I've hooked up one fish makes your day and persistence makes a good day not giving up on fish yeah it's a nice fish oh yeah he is a bucket mouth he swallowed my hook it is all the way under way down his throat the hook is way down his throat Put him back in. I'm watching my tip, folks, and I saw a bite. I saw it just nibbling, and I set the hook. It was just a little bit of movement. These fish are not hitting. You have to do everything to get them to bite. And paying attention to your rod tip is important when it's like this. They're just playing cat and mouse with your bait. They don't really want to bite it. Every once in a while, they'll bite it short. And you got to be ready because they are not really taking these things in. Oh, it's a nice fish. Sure, it's a very nice fish. got some good teeth just got another fish they're hitting really light you got to watch your rod tip right now you'll see a little bit of a nibble as they bite and then you got to set the hook that's all they're giving me you need to have a good sensitive rod tip to see that so put her back GoPro stop recording. First fish on my new Icon rod. I got an order in from St. Croix, the best rods on earth. And I'm test trialing them today, fishing by myself. And did I feel this bite on this Icon? Very, very sensitive rod. Very nice stick. fish let him go GoPro stop recording Lots of fun. If you want to get out and learn these techniques, hire me for the day and you'll see exactly what I'm doing. But if you want one on one instruction, come out with me for the day and have a day like this and learn how to do this. <clears throat> I 
about a 23 incher Another nice fish, Green Bay Walleye. Getting quite a few today, having to work at it. I'll let this one go. GoPro stop recording. This is a big fish. <clears throat> oh. That is a fatty. Holy cow. That is a nice fish. I'll release it. There you go, put it back. GoPro stop recording. <laughs>